What's up, YouTube? So I know I said I wasn't going to do a video on the rice, but I'm making a little bit more rice right now. I've got my rice in there. I got a cup of rice, a cup of water. It's on the Instapot. See, there's a rice button. All you do is you put your lid on. Make sure it's unsealed. And hit rice. It goes for 10 minutes. Trying to, all right, there you go, 10 minutes. I don't know why that's working. So that beep means it's on, it is warming up. 10 minutes, it'll be done. And then I let it natural pressure release. The truck is a little bit messy right now, but my bed space is clean. Got my nice little new rug, it's comfy. My protein shake powder. So all you need to do is go to Walmart. I'll do a video on prices and stuff like that, on how much things cost, what all you can get for how cheap. I'm gonna stop this video and I'll be right back. So this place is cool as hell, man. I'm at a U.S. Salt out here in Watkins Glen, New York. I'm right on the water, man. It's beautiful. Beautiful scenery. Let's see if I can zoom in while I'm on here. Oh yeah, there's little houses over there. Yeah, it's just beautiful out here, though. I do like it. It's not like most of the New York sides I've seen man it's nice these people in here are actually nice um, there was a problem at first the computer was telling them that this load can't be picked up till Friday and I said oh hell no there ain't gonna be no loads coming out of New York on New Year's Eve not this time not happening so we gotta figure something out so they gave me a customer service number I called them click of a button boom was done I can pick up today and deliver I'll be there Thursday in uh, Tampa Florida hopefully and um, but yeah, I do my rice right now. It's still warming up. Takes about 10, 15 minutes, really. All, all in all, takes about 15, five, maybe five minutes to warm up, and about 10 minutes for that timer to count down. And then you can do the natural press release, which takes a little bit longer, or you can just vent it out. And um, yep, that's how my morning's going so far. Going good. About to eat me some. Uh, Red beans and rice. It's kind of cold out here. It's not too cold. I don't need my ski mask or nothing. But it's 53 degrees with a nice wind chill since I'm literally, I mean, I'm probably, I could be a foot away from the water if I wanted to, if I parked right there. It's beautiful. I was joking, told them that they need to put some fishing poles up for rent. But I don't make a killing with some drivers like me come around here. I ain't gonna eat none of this shit in that water. But I'll fish. I'll catch and release, man. Uh, next time I'm home, I'm actually going to grab my fishing pole because I've hit so many spots this past week where I could have just, man, be fishing on my 10 hour break. Wouldn't get the sleep I need. I, Man, when I fish, there ain't no sleeping. So I'm, I'm going to get me a bite. And, uh, but, anyways, yeah, it's a nice little spot, man. It was a little, kind of a little odd getting in here. It's like a one way road big enough for a fucking just one truck so i pray there's no one coming in when i'm coming out but yep i got my rice cooking go make my red beans and rice eat that get loaded shit and get on out of here boy time to get damn sunny sunshine it's gloomy out here a little bit it's cold it's windy but all in all it's 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 a pretty little spot man nice nice country folk out here too I like that. My wife didn't believe that, doesn't believe that there's country people in New York. But this countryside, man, definitely is. It's pretty. Y'all take it easy. All right, everybody. So as you can see, I swept my truck up. Little thing to keep in your door. Small broom, mine broke, some duct tape fixes all, a dustpan. Well, what I wanted to do was show y'all, I'll go ahead and do the pressure release so don't keep your hand over this or this when you do it and you'll see why here in a second shit's hot as fuck even just the splashes of water that comes off is going to be hot on your hand so slowly 
Don't do it quickly because this can shoot up in the air. Y'all can hear it sizzling. That is extremely hot. So what it's doing is it's releasing steam. So that little, ow, shit, that was hot. That little pin will drop. When it's fully released. I don't know if you can really see it slowly dropping. Go oh, just here in a second. There it goes. So now it is pressure released, and all you do is you turn it and open it. Look at rice. Oh shit, you can't see that rice. I done fogged y'all up too bad. Alright, yeah, look at that rice. That is good right there. It's nice, it's fluffy. That is one cup of water, one cup of rice. I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna go ahead and get my meal ready. What's up, YouTube? That's the shit right here, boy. It's spicy. Don't want to tip it over. I got that red beans and rice in there. Yeah, that's good. It's, it's making me warm up. That's for dick, I'm sure, with how spicy it is. But, very easy to cook in a truck. Stay good, stay healthy. Oh yeah. Mm. Sorry, I can't stop eating. That's good. So, my red beans and rice for tonight. Got some for the next two days probably. Because I had this bowl filled up about here. Yes, sir. I'm going to push hard tonight and tomorrow, so I probably won't do them deer steak until Thursday. But, heading to Tampa, Florida, man. I'm ready to shit and get. We'll get all day. They're loading my trailer right now. Hard to eat sometimes like that. I get shit all over you. Luckily, I ain't get any all over me, but I'm get shit all over you. The well, next Walmart I stop at, I'll go through the household section, and I'll show you all the griddle. Another option is a single eye burner electric stove. It's like 15 bucks, 12 bucks. It's cheap. I'll show you all that. Um... You can get stuff online too for a better price. Uh, so if you're willing to wait, have stuff shipped to you. You can do that. If you know where you're going to be as you're going down a load, you can look up Amazon lockers. Some of the TAs have them. I know there's one in like Syracuse, I think, that has one. It's a little shit, shit, shitty STA, but they have Amazon lockers. So if you know you're going somewhere, find Amazon lockers along your route. Order you something off Amazon if you can find it cheaper than in the store. Get us into that locker by the time you get there. You can always cancel. I don't know if you can resend it to redirect it to another spot or not, but you can always cancel it if something happens and. And you end up not going there or weather happens, you're going to be late. Always cancel. But those things are awesome for truck drivers, man. Almost every big city has an Amazon locker. I don't know really about any of the smaller cities, but almost every single big city has one somewhere. If you got to get an Uber to it, it's worth it in the long haul if you're saving money. But if you're getting an Uber, you're not saving money. You're spending just as much if you go into Walmart almost. So sometimes it would be cheaper just stop at a Walmart. Mine that's good. But y'all take it easy. 
And my mom finishes meal. Woo, that's spicy. I like it. <laughs>